Have you ever worked before? Yes, I have worked before. Actually, during last summer vacation, I joined a superstore for a short period of time, and uh, there I gained a bit of work experience. What was your first day at work like? I still remember because I was quite nervous that day, but I must say that uh, the colleagues were really friendly and helpful. And uh, within few days, I uh, find that. Uh, I, I got comfortable with the workplace. What responsibilities did you have at work? Working at a store, I had few responsibilities. Firstly, I had to manage and stack the things on the racks and everything. And uh, sometimes I had to manage the billing or I was the counter clerk. At the same time, I sometimes had to manage the counter as well for billing. What was your typical day like at work? I was working a regular 9 to 5 shift, so it was used to get quite busy during the morning and uh, evening hours, but in between it was uh, relaxing and uh, I also had an hour break for lunch. Have you taken any volunteer work? Yes, I have many times. In fact, I am a member of a voluntary group, so every weekend we try to do some kind of voluntary work. Why did you do the voluntary work? It's quite obvious for me to join voluntary work as it gives me a lot of mental satisfaction. I am a person who is very helpful by nature and uh, I cannot resist myself uh, when I see the people in need seeking help. I always come forward to help them. Do you know any volunteers? Yes, I know many internationally, for example, Ravi Singh, the co-founder of Khalsa A, then we have many celebrities in my country who are the um, wonderful volunteers and uh, I can say that in my own city, the city I come from, Sonu Su, the famous personality, is also very famous for his voluntary works. How do you define volunteer work? Uh, as said, it is a work that gives you mental satisfaction because you are not doing it for money. And every time you help anybody, you try to bring a smile on the face of a person and uh, you receive blessings. Uh, what can be better than that in life? In your opinion, do business people have to work long hours? Mm, I don't think so because uh, they employ a number of people who work for them. And as a result, they can enjoy more freedom as compared to employees. I can share an example of my uncle who is running a factory. Uh, most workers uh, work at his workplace, at his factory for 10 to 12 hours, but he hardly uh, visit the factory for a couple of hours in the evening. How do business people relax? Um, it totally depends on the nature, but uh, I see the vast majority uh, go for holidays as um, they have money, they can easily afford it and it is also the best time for them to spend with their family and uh, some choose some exotic uh, sports like golf, playing billiards or swimming. These are also some activities chosen by them. How can a small business grow big? Well, there are a number of factors behind it. If I say the prominent one is the advertisement. And uh, if a company invests on advertisement, it can really help to grow big. And then smart strategies, innovative ideas, along with the use of technology, because uh, technology has helped many businesses or business ideas to go, grow really big. In your opinion, what kinds of small businesses will young people have in the future? I think in future, youngsters will be their business oriented and uh, they would uh, set up their own businesses. It can be related to providing uh, some services, but uh, if they set up their businesses for products, uh, they would be interested in technological devices because uh, the world is getting digital. At the same time, Future young generations would be fashion oriented as well, so they would be dealing in some fashionable items like footwear, clothes, accessories and others. In your opinion, what skills are required to start a small business? Uh, there are certain skills uh, which uh, are very much needed uh, if I talk about uh, 
uh, communication and management skills, they are extremely essential. Without these skills, one cannot set up a business at all. But if a person is confident and has the leadership skills, these skills can also play a wonderful role in helping to flourish the business. What are the impacts of globalization on small and large businesses? I can say that uh, globalization has a mixed impact because uh, on small businesses it is having an adverse impact because uh, they is, cannot sustain the competition, they cannot provide the quality and the price that big businesses offer to the customers. But um, it is a great advantage to the big companies because they can further expand their businesses internationally.